Okay, it's 501 on January 5th, 2021. I call the Board of Works meeting to order. Uh, first order of business is uh, Mayor Hewitt was not able to be here due to medical issues, so I'm going to stand in his place. First thing is reading of the approval of the minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The second order of business is payment of claims, $170,844.87. I make a motion we accept the claims as presented. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Regular payroll, $157,142.01 for December 2018, or check, December 18, 2020. Make a motion to accept the regular payroll as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then the monthly payroll, $5,180.66, December 23, 2020. Make a motion to accept the monthly payroll as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Regular payroll of $164,560.73, January 2nd, 2021. Make a motion to accept the pay, uh, regular payroll. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have nothing under old business. New business, opening of 2021 bids for materials. Do you have those, Susan? First one will be from Gaunt and Son. Item one, 20,000 or less gallons, $4 per unit per gallon. You agree, what is it? What kind it's of tack cook for 2018 end dot specifications. Item two, 10,000 or less tons, hot mix asphalt for two, 2018 end dot specifications, section 402 applied on city streets, alleys, and patching. HMA base, 25.0 millimeter, Type B, $67.50 per ton. HMA intermediate, 19.0 millimeters. Type B, $67.50 per ton. HMA surface, 9.9 .9 millimeters. Type B, $71.65 per ton. All materials produced using virgin materials only. This one says Hanson Aggregates Midwest LLC. This is for crushed limestone. 10,000 or less tons. Crushed stone for the year 2021 is available at Milner Quarry, located at 3571 West Country Road, 500 South Peru. Size number two, $8.65. Size number three, 
size number four, twelve dollars ten cents. Size fifty three, eight dollars forty five cents. Size seventy three, eight dollars forty five cents. Size eight, eleven dollars eighty five cents. <coughs> Size 9, $10.85. Size 11, $11.55. Size 12, QA, $11.15. Size 24, Stone Sam, $7.10. Revetment Rip Wrap, $11.80. And Ice Grit, $7.35. Next one open in. I don't know if it's the same. I think it might have said both twice. Do they put it in there twice? Yes, it's the same. Okay. Irving materials. Item number six, material size. Number one, commercial stone, $9.95 per ton. Number two, 53.73 commercial stone, $8.85 per ton. Number four, commercial stone, $11.90 per ton. Number eight, commercial stone, $13.35 per ton. Number nine commercial stone, $12.75 per ton. Number 12 commercial stone, $12.15 per ton. State riprap, $22.50 per ton. Limestone chips, $7.65 per ton. And on item five, material size number 2324, washed sand. It's $12.85 per ton. J.M. Reynolds Oil Company. <laughs> I need to put a tab on there. <laughs> I know. Where is it at?
Nothing. The bid's incomplete. The bid's incomplete. No, that was J.M. Reynolds. There's no actual bid. There's no bid. Okay. Is okay. Adam? Is Adam on here? He is not. Because okay. I'm J.M. has always bid in the past. If I'm not mistaken, they have always bid at the bid, but. going to be two of these for EMB painting. I'm opening one or two. Any item one, 20,000 gallons or less tack coat complying with the 2018 NDOT standard specifications, furnished and applied on streets, alleys, and other areas as designated. $3 per gallon. This is item two, quantity 10,000 tons or less, hot mix asphalt corresponding to 2018 NDOT standard specifications, section 402 furnished, spread with paving machine and rolled on city streets, alleys, and patching. Bid shall be based on the following mixes. HMA base 25 millimeter type B, $70 per ton. HMA intermediate 19 millimeters type B, $73 per ton. HMA surface 9.5 millimeter type B, $77 per ton. And that's all the bids. Do I entertain a motion to table these until further consideration? I make a motion we take the bids on the consideration. Well, take them under the first motion would be motion to accept the bids as presented and then a second motion to award at a later date upon review of the bids for completeness and do we need to do anything on the Reynolds bid I mean you you will accept the bid and obviously it's non-compliant so that just okay nothing to be done at that point okay. make a motion to accept the bids as presented second all in favor aye aye make a motion to take the bids on an advisement for the next meeting to award for a to award at a later date to award at a later date upon or the later date <laughs> I can't hear you over here. to award at a later date to be awarded at a later date second upon. all those in favor aye aye Next item on the agenda is an application for electrician's license approval for Zachary C. Make the motion we accept the application for Zach C. He scored 100% on the test. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill, did you say he got 100%? Yes, yes he got 100% on the test. Hmm. Next item is an approval of the demolition bid submitted by Merritt and Sons for 212 West 7th Street in the amount of $11,000. That bid was originally approved for Wade Ames demolition, who has withdrawn his offer to, demo to demolish the building. A motion to approve the demolition submitted by Mr. Merritt for 212 West 7th in the amount of $11,000. Second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 
And just to be clear on that, that bid was already submitted previously. Um, like I said, it was awarded to uh, Wade, Ames. Wade Ames. Yes. Wade Ames said he incorrectly priced that, and we're going to the next lowest bidder. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next order of business is Chief Hawk is presenting the resignations of Garrett Shields and Kevin Baker, both effective 12-31-2020. Uh, Chief, do you have anything you want to say? Or? Uh, no, you have copies of both resignations if you'd like to read those. Uh, if not, I can. Okay, the first one is for Garrett Shields, dated December 22nd, 2020. Dear Chief Hawk, this is my official letter of resignation from my position as a pro firefighter slash mechanic. My last shift will be New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2020. I want to thank everyone that I have had the pleasure to work with. I have enjoyed my time and will cherish all the lifelong skills and friendships I have made along the way. Proof Fire Department has an amazing group of well-trained individuals that everyone should be proud of. Unfortunately, I have lost faith that city officials feel the same and hope in time the fire department will get the support it deserves. Yours sincerely, Garrett Shields. And then we have one here dated December 23rd, 2020 from Kevin Baker, Proof Fire Inspector, Proof Fire Department. Chief Hawk, I'm submitting this letter of resignation from my position of firefighter slash fire inspector of the Peru Fire Department. My last day of work for the city will be December 31st, 2020. Signed, Kevin Baker. Do I have a motion? Make a motion we accept the resignation from Mr. Baker and Mr. Shields. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. The next item is from Chief Dan Sofianas. Peru Police Department it is presenting a request to accept the resignation of Sergeant Samantha Raber from the Peru Police Department, effective January 3rd, 2021. I have a letter here from Sergeant Raber, dated December 16th, 2020, Chief Sofianas. I have accepted a position with the Kobo Police Department. My first day as a patrolman with the Kobo Police Department will be January 4th, 2021. I respectfully request you submit my letter of resignation to the Peru Board of Works and Safety, effective January 3rd, 2021, fraternally, Samantha Raber, Sergeant. No motion. Make a motion to accept Sergeant Raber's resignation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And let's see. Finally, we have a request from a Derek Burrishock on behalf of the Wildlife Control Services LLC, and he's requesting the following. Permission to park and drive man lift on city sidewalk. Permission to partially block off city street. Permission to hot water pressure wash city sidewalk. Permission to do pigeon control in the city limits. Um, before we go any far, I spoke with this individual a couple times, and he is not requesting now at this time to park on the city sidewalks. He'll be able to do all of his work. They're basically doing pigeon control on the First Farmers Building at Main and Broadway. We also spoke with Adam Sheets of the Street Department. He's going to work with the individual as far as setting up barricades and things of that nature. So do I have a motion? Make a motion to accept Derek Barrowshot's request to work on the First Farmers Bank. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, do we have any communications? Anyone from the audience? If not, we're up for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.